Alrighty then, Jim here. We're going to take a quick look at tempo in music. We're going to look at two ways to calculate the tempo, which is done in beats per minute, or BPM for short. I'm going to look at how you can sometimes use these two methods together to confirm that you found the beat. First, we're going to look at something called tap tempo, and then we'll look at how to use a tempo database. Now, the tap tempo is just a simple method for manually calculating the tempo, the BPM, of a song. You can do it in a website or in a smartphone app. Just search the web for the phrase tap tempo to find a website. This is one of the websites I use. The address is actually tempotap.com. So they've just flipped the words around tap and tempo, which is clever. As you can see, it's very simple, not much on the page. All you do is listen to a song, and then I like to count the sets of eight to make sure I'm on the beat, and then you manually tap the space bar on your computer keyboard to the beat. So let's swing down to my keyboard. There's my space bar, and I start tapping. Tap, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, it just tells me how fast I'm tapping. I was tapping at about 93 BPM. To reset and start over, I just click on the X key on my keyboard. Click. See, back to zero. And if I tap again, tap, 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 I get a new tempo. So let's try some songs. I'm going to start with two versions of the Eric Clapton song, Layla. First, the acoustic version at a slower tempo. And then the original Layla by Eric Clapton with Derek and the Dominoes, which is a faster version. Cue music. I click X to reset. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I get 94.3 BPM. Now I hop over to a BPM database, which is the second method to find the tempo to check my work. I'm using songbpm.com. It's very simple. I just put in the artist. the title, click search. Now notice there's a list of different tempos. These are different versions of the song. I'm using the version on Spotify and I know that version is 4 minutes and 20 seconds long. You see that listed here. So I'm pretty confident that's the tempo I'm trying to match, which is 94 BPM. And what did I get? I forget. That's what I got, 94. So I'm pretty confident that that's the correct tempo and that I've correctly identified the beat of the music. By the way, I call 94 BPM a slow tempo. So let's try the other version of uh, Layla by Derek and the Dominoes. Cue music.
quick X to reset. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get about 114 BPM. Now I go back to songbpm.com. Enter the new artist, Derek and the Dominoes. Layla stays the same. I click search. What do we get? Now I know I'm using the Spotify version, which is seven minutes, eight seconds long, 114 BPM. And what did I get? Mm, that's what I got. So again, I'm confident that I've identified the tempo and I've identified the beat of the music. Now before I go a few more song, go through a few more songs. I want to show you the uh, tap tempo app that I use on my smartphone. And you know, this is unbelievable. It's called tap tempo. It works on the same principle. I just tap the large middle button, and however fast I tap my finger, it just tells me how many beats per minute I'm tapping. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. And notice if I speed up, tap, 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 the tempo speeds up. If I stop for a moment, it automatically resets to zero. Then I can start again, get a new tempo. Alrighty then, that's it. The two ways to find the tempo of a song and how you can use them together to see if you found the beat of music. If you want more info, there's a chapter on tempo in my book, Hear the Beat, Feel the Music, which you can check out at hearthebeatfeelthemusic.com. Now I'm just going to run through a few more songs to help you get the hang of it, and I'll finish up with a song with a fast tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Life I've always wanted. I guess I'll never have. I'll be working for somebody else until I'm in my grave. I'll be dreaming of a life of ease and mountains. Oh, mountains of oh, time. Okay, the database gives me 94 BPM. What did I get? 93 and change. Pretty close. I'm good with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Database gets 91 BPM. What did I get? 91 BPM. So that checks out. No fighting. We got the refugees. No fighting. No fighting. 
Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So be wise and keep on reading the signs of my body. I'm on tonight, you know my hips don't lie. I'm starting to feel it's right. All the attraction, the tension. Don't you see, baby, this is perfection. I'm using the Spotify version, which is 3 minutes, 38 seconds, 100 BPM. What did I get? 99.46. Close enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Say the last just as the time bell rings Good night, now it's time to go home Then he makes it fast with one more thing We are the Sultan My version is 5 minute 50 seconds, uh, BPM is 148, and what did I get? 151, several beats off, close enough for me, this is an up-tempo song, anything above 140 BPM I consider fast tempo, that's a wrap. <laughs>